What is going on everybody? It is good to be back again with another video and in today's video I will be going over how to find the ideal entry or how I find my my ideal entries and kind of the steps that I take to look for trade executions. So let's just hop right into it. So pretty much here I made a little slideshow to show pretty much the steps I guess that I take or that you should take to narrow down as to how to find the ideal entry for you. So the first thing that you're pretty much going to need, you need a trade entry checklist. You need a list of things that need to happen in order for you to be confident enough to pull the trigger and hit that buy or sell button. If you do not have any confluence behind the trade that you're about to take, you are going to be very nervous. You're going to one cut. You're probably going to cut your losses early, or you're going to cut the trade early. That is potentially a winner. You're not going to just. You're, you're pretty much just not going to be confident in what you have open and. Confidence is key in this game. You need to be 100% confident in your trade and you need to try and stack as much confluence as you can behind the execution that you just made. Again, you should not enter a trade unless everything checks off of your list. And some of the things that could be on your list are like higher time frame liquidity sweeps, run on external or buy side or sell side liquidity. Um, price runs into a higher time frame PD array, or we have SMT at the highs of the lows, uh, just something like that. But notice how I'm saying it's always number two here we have is prioritizing the higher time frames for analysis to understand if price is bullish or bearish. You should always be understanding and knowing where order flow is and if we are bullish or bearish in price is price continuously making higher highs and higher lows or are we making lower lows and lower highs are we bullish or bearish that is what you want to know and in order to do that you want to be doing your higher time frame analysis on the weekly and the daily primarily and then on top i mean if you wanted to uh the four hour and the one hour but i would say prioritizing the weekly and the daily those are the strongest and then your four hour and your one hour is your are like your semi semi bigger time frames and for me personally the execution time frames that i use are listed below the 15 minute the five minute the three minute the two minute and the one minute so here i have some examples of what i look for in my checklist for price to be running into on the higher time frames in the top left here as you see we have our volume and balance this can be either bullish or bearish and in this situation we have a bullish volume and balance so if I'm looking at price on the daily or the weekly and I see this candle coming down into a bullish volume and balance I will be watching price inside of the lower time frames like the 15 minute the five minute the three the two and the one if there is a potential entry point inside of this reaction off of the bullish volume imbalance and that is the same thing that i will be doing with an order block and the same thing that i will be doing on a tap of a fair value gap or also a run on buy side or sell side liquidity like this i will always be looking at the higher time frames for these PD arrays like that like such or a run on buy side or sell side liquidity for a lower time frame entry based off of price reacting off of these examples that I have here. So on top of that I will be using SMT at the highs or the lows when price runs into these PD arrays or we have a run on buy side or sell side liquidity. I will be using that that on top of that to stack with extra confluence in the direction that price is trading to what we have here is our next step after price runs into one of those pd arrays or we have a run on buy side or sell side liquidity the next step that you want to do is look for a market structure shift or displacement and i just have some examples here of what 
it looks like for price to have a market structure shift on these higher time frames. So what do we have here on the left? Price breaks a swing low after running into a bearish PD array. We have a bearish monthly fair value gap here. What on top of that, SMT with NQ at the highs. So this here is ES and ES made a higher high compared to these two, but NQ made a lower high. So this high is higher than the high here for NQ, indicating market weakness between the indices. So stacking um, SMT with price running into a bearish PD array is confluence for price to then go shorter or to go down or reverse with on top of that us breaking a swing low here. So after price is running into the PD array having SMT and then makes a market structure shift that is confluence for these lower prices. And as you can see, it's the same thing here. What here you have uh, the bearish monthly fair value gap. And this is the daily time frame. We have a swing low here. We have that market structure shift here. And then after the market structure shift, what do we do? We wait for price to retrace in this bearish scenario. We wait for price to retrace into a premium of the range, the daily range here. From this swing high to this swing low that created the market structure shift. You wait for price to retrace into a premium of the range to see if then you can go short and the, and the price can continue in that direction down. And here we have an example of a bullish scenario with the reaction of a retracement into a discount of price having a market structure shift here. And after the shift, price retraces into a discount of the four hour range into a four hour bullish order block. As you can see from this low to this high, this is our premium of the range and our discount of the range. And what do we have here? We have price breaking down, tapping into a weekly volume imbalance, a weekly bullish volume imbalance, while also having SMT with the Dow. So we have SMT stacked with price running into a bullish PD array, as I showed you on the previous slide. That's confluence for price to then go up. We have our shift. We have our retracement. After we have all of those things together, I'm confident and I know that we can target the high of the range. As you can see on the bottom right, once price retraces into a discount of the price swing, you expect a run and break of the high of the range. And as you can see, price clearly had just a great bullish move and just broke the high of the range, creating a break of structure, which is just a continuation and confirms that price is now can go higher. Okay, now that we see that price has taken this range high and we have a break of structure confirming that now we are in an uptrend and we can be looking for continuation for more buys. So from this point, what you're pretty much going to be waiting for is another retracement like we did here. We had a low and a high creating market structure shift. And after that, we waited for price to come down into a discount of this price swing so that we can look for another for an entry to go long. And what do we have here now after we have this confirmation or further confluence that price is now going to be bullish? we wait for another retracement. So what do we do? We measure our premium and discount of this swing from this high here to this low. Now, what do we do? We mark off our PD arrays. We look for any unmitigated imbalances that are in a discount. And I already see one right here on the four hour. Right there, we have our four hour bullish for value gap. And if I actually drag it out a little bit to the left, this turns out to be an overlapping fair value gap, creating a price window. And what are these? These are 
potential balanced price ranges. P price needs to come down, fill these overlapping imbalances, creating a balanced price range. And once this is rebalanced and redelivered, it is supposed to move aggressively away from the price window. So if I move price a little bit to our side, right there and I'll drag out this gap here price is now coming down into our POI inside of the discount of the range and we'll use this new high here as our new target this will be our buy side liquidity since we're here I can now drop down to our lower time frames and look for an entry since we are inside of a POI of this discount of the four hour range that is also rebalancing and redelivering a balanced price range. So let's drop down to a five minute chart. Okay, now moving on to these next steps here, I marked off our kill zones, the times in which you are supposed to be strict with executions on entries and exits. So, personally, I only trade the New York kill zone because I do live on the east coast of the states. We are currently here inside of the four hour balanced price range. Price has came low enough to rebalance and redeliver. So, now we are expecting a bullish move based off of our higher time frame analysis. We now expect price to then push up and take our range high. But since we will be executing, I have a five minute chart open. We will be looking for internal buy side liquidity and internal buy side liquidity. I mean, buy side liquidity inside of this range that we have. So we have highs here. And we have highs here, potential target. And we have relative equal highs here as well another potential target and we could even look at the M15 we have any other unmitigated gaps we can look at the hourly too as well we have an unmitigated bearish for value gap here so we can mark that off as well as a target or a partial so let's drop back down to our five minute chart now that we have our levels and we have our targets as to where we know price could potentially go to. Let's fast forward in price. And boom. Already we have a bullish reaction based off of our four hour balance price balanced price range. We have a market structure shift here. And after our shift, what do we do? We wait for a retracement into a discount of the range. And what do we have? We have a retracement into price has reached a discount of this range of just this five minute range after the shift. So here of price breaking this high here retracing into a discount of the range and on top of that confluence of price rebalancing and redelivering this four hour balance price range I still have I have confluence that price will then push up from this current range if you wanted to enter at equilibrium of the gap and have a stop loss of 10, 10 points and a quarter at the bottom low of this candle targeting this high here or on top of that targeting this hourly unmitigated bearish fair value gap. You can do that. And let's see the reaction.
and there you go. Price does come pretty close to our stop loss, but if you did want to do a more safe stop, you could do to the bottom of this swing low, but that is a 23 point stop and you wouldn't want to do that for a 1.5 R trade. But still, price still didn't stop out, stop us out here with a 10.25 stop loss for a 3.5 R trade. And that is just on an M5 chart inside of our New York AM kill zone with higher time frame analysis and higher time frame confluence dropping down to our lower time frame and looking for entries inside of our higher time frame analysis. So wrapping things up here, we have our little recap and one for our steps is identify your higher time frame PD arrays. Number two, wait for reaction off of the PD array for a higher time frame shift in market structure. Three, after the market structure shift or displacement, you wait for the retracement into a premium or a discount fair value gap or order block. Four, drop to your lower time frames and seek for an execution inside of the higher time frame fair value gap or order block after the retracement that is inside of premium or discount of the range. And then the fifth step, you target the high of the range that has created the shift in structure. So with everything lined out here, this should be... Um, a little bit of assistance to help you find your ideal entry and hopefully help you in your trading journey when you're seeking executions. So in regards to my private group, Bybit is actually having a promotion up to $30,000 deposit bonus. And you can see below, here are the terms in which you would get rewarded based on your deposit, as you can see here. And if you enjoyed the video and you like my process, I do go over everything in further detail with my private group and I will be providing a link in the description as to how you can join. And I actually do have a pinned tweet on my Twitter profile that you can see. Um, but I will also be providing, um, as promised, a website with an alternative option to join the group if you do not have access to joining the exchange. But within this group, uh, I host weekly outlook calls as well as midweek analysis and I provide in-depth intraday analysis as well as daily session breakdowns, providing annotations of market maker sell and buy models, describing first and second leg of distributions and accumulations, etc. But I hope to see you all there and happy trading.